to go back to where it all started. Where did you think I was all this time? Theater owners are blasting Disney for making Marvel's Black Widow available simultaneously in the home and on the big screen, saying the decision has undercut the tenpole's box office performance. A press release from the National Association of Theater Owners noted that Black Widow suffered a stunning collapse in its second weekend in theatrical revenues, and added that despite assertions that an improvised release strategy was a success, it demonstrates that an exclusive theatrical release means more revenue for all stakeholders in every cycle of the movie's life. Marvel and Disney's Black Widow fell to number two in its second outing with $26.3 million for the July 16th through 18th weekend. The superhero pick suffered a steep 67% decline, one of the biggest drops ever for a Marvel title. When announcing opening weekend box office results, Disney added Disney Plus premier access revenue to Black Widow's total number, which pushed the film's total global opening past the $218 million mark, thanks to $60 million generated from households. However, this weekend, Disney declined to release updated premier access numbers, further muddling the issue for exhibitors. The National Association of Theater Owners noted, the most important answer is that simultaneous release is a pandemic-era artifact that should be left to history with the pandemic itself. Itself. Through Sunday, Black Widow's global box office total was $264 million and more than $324 million, including revenue from Disney Plus Premier Access. Black Widow lost the July 16th through 18th weekend to Warner Brothers' LeBron James starring Space Jam A New Legacy, which came in ahead of expectations with $31.7 million. For more on the story, head to THR.com. And for the latest box office news and updates, keep watching The Hollywood Reporter News.